You seem awfully mad today. You want me to sing you a lullaby? I'm just not in the mood, man. I mean, you could. Can you do that later? Oh, you awfully seem in the mood right now. I mean, but what is there even to be happy about with the stars? I mean, they they lost two games straight. It's over. I mean, they did score two goals. Okay, you're right. This is Jake Allen. You just gotta shake it, shake the talent out of him. Come on, you just, you just, you just, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. No use. Hello guys, welcome back to DSFR Game 2, Season 1 for the Stars. Um, Stars vs. Blues, um, final was 2-4 to four for the Blues, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Going into this game thinking, hey, we can get a couple points out of this. I think it'll, won't be necessarily easy, but I think that we will be able to pull it off. Um, we'll be able to pull it off. Now, that was my hope until, um, Carl Lennon was in net, and I saw Carl Lennon in net, and I have this weird feeling. Where the heck is Bishop? Apparently, they're saving him for a different game or something. Um, I think he was fine to play. I guess they just didn't want to play him again. Ended up being a big mistake. We could have probably maybe won that game if Bishop was in that. Maybe. Maybe. But, man. Jake Allen, man. Two straight games where the goaltenders for the opposing team have just been lights out. And we play Detroit. Is either Jimmy Howard or Peter Mraz just going to be coming out of nowhere and just being spectacular? Hopefully not. Power play in this game, alright? Devin Shore has a chance of his life after a couple of rebounds off of Allen's pads. But Allen is just on, just butter, is just sprawling. And he just gets the glove up there like... He was on his, he was on his stomach and he just gets that glove up in time. And it's still 0-0. In just a few minutes... Into the period. <sighs> Ham Hughes scores a goal. Shot from the boards on the other side behind the net. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a pass. I'm pretty sure it goes off Ham Hughes or Lettinen. Either Lettinen's pad or Ham Hughes' skate into the goal. And. <laughs> 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 One zero. A couple minutes later, Edmondson gets a ton of time on the power play. He got he was just open, totally open. Now he isn't a total offensive threat, but still, he was completely wide open on that left side of the um, left side of the ice, and he just. Sniped it like that was an unreal shot. Um, trying to get up, so let's say he's left handed and the goal is right there. Um, he just completely shot it on the far side, and that was just a beautiful goal. And I don't think Bishop would have stopped that. I don't think Carey Price would have stopped that. That's debatable, but that was a perfect shot. We're down 2 0 on the first period. Things are not looking too, too good. Um, then Jane Schwartz scores. Off a great pass into the slot, and then he just dangles out. Um, I think it was either Ham Hughes or just, I think it was Johns. I think when he skated at like kind of just deeped out Johns, and it's three zero. But it was a great deke and a great shot. Um, but Carla Lennon could have stopped that. I think um, he was anticipating the shot from one angle, and then he had to skate back, which basically screwed him over. So he probably could have saved that, but I don't know. It's it's about your technique. It's not about how he should have saved that. It was all about his technique that he stopped and then he had to start again, which just led to a goal. And uh, shortly before the first intermission, ben, Sagan had a great chance after Ben was skating around the net. He come, came back on the power play, came back, and then slapped past it to Sagan, and then Allen makes the save of his life, dude. Like, he was just fantastic in the first period. And he just loaded that team and that defense, which was fantastic. But the few chances that the Stars got, oh, it was beautiful, but they just kind of convert. First intermission. Second period was pretty boring. I, I don't know if I would call it boring, but it was just grinding hockey. 
um, there was just a lot of um, dump ins, a lot of passes from the boards, and it's kind of it was kind of a technical second period in the way that it was just kind of um, kind of defensive just for the Blues. Like they got whatever the Stars could do in this game. It seemed like they could never get the puck when they needed to. Um, like whenever a pass would go through, it would just be a little bit sloppier than the Blues would. Um, the, blue, it, the puck just seemed to gravitate towards the Blues in this game. That's something that you can't control. It's just how the puck mounts and sometimes it goes to a defender when you're when you have a great offensive chance, and it it just it'll just crumble at some points, and that's that's hockey. Even though the Stars outshot the Blues, I mean it was like thirty, it was like in the thirties to like in the early twenties for the Blues. Um, so I even though they did outshoot them. I don't think they had too many golden chances. And what I say by golden chances is like that slap pass to Tyler Sagan that I just mentioned. Like that was a golden chance. And they, even though I don't stop that, that's a golden chance. They didn't have too many of those in that game when they had loads of those in versus Vegas. And it's less frustrating in this game just because they didn't even have the chances to begin, begin with. So it didn't even matter if you, you're frustrated. You couldn't really be because they didn't even get anything going. And... Like, the most frustrating thing is when you have so many chances and you keep missing it. Like, that Vegas game was just so frustrating because they had, like, I swear, like, 20 golden chances. And they could never get it going. And it just sucked. But this game, you could, they just didn't get anything going at all. At least in the first two periods. And then, straight for the third period. Um, power play, goal. Klingberg gets the one-timer. And I think they said that Tyler Sagan deflected it. That's two goals for Tyler Sagan. 3-1, stars, we're getting closer. Almost saved the game. There was a 2-on rush um, that I think it was Schwartz, somebody, somebody like that. Um, they were going on a 2-on-1, and then Ham Hughes bl blocked the shot, blocked the pass, and kind of stick-handled, or st kind of like stick-checked his stick on the ice and got and poked the po puck away. So that was a great play by him. He wasn't too, too good before that. And that was definitely a redeeming fact for him. Now, oh, Roussel goes in the penalty box, and the Blues go on the power play. I think you know what happens then. Pretty sure it's Petriangelo should, um, passes to Vlad Tarasenko. He is way too open for to be such a scoring threat. Why do you have him that open? He scores probably the best snipe I've seen this season. That was just a beautiful goal. Uh, nobody could stop that. Nobody could stop that. There's just a couple of goals in this game that Lennon just couldn't stop, and that's just that sucks for him. But he needs to he needs he needs to get the or stop the goals that should have shouldn't have gone in. And if you want to be a good goaltender in the league, you got to stop the ones that shouldn't have gone in, but save the ones or not save <clears throat> not save the ones that shouldn't have gone in. Like that terrible single goal was just unbelievable. And he probably shouldn't have stopped that, um, which he didn't. So, that was just a perfect snipe by Tarasenko, and kind of just puts a dagger in this game. Doesn't mean that we are done with the offense here. Um, Spezza digs the puck out of Gretzky's office, um, feeds it to Yanmark for a one-timer. He was on it, or at least Spezza was on his back, or his backhand, and then he just kind of sneaks that pass in there, and... And yeah, Mark was just on the shot. He it just like kind of, kind of weakly, one time it, but he still got it in there. I'm telling you, yeah, Mark is the real deal. I love the guy, and he'll be great this season. Now next next week on Tuesday we host the Red Wings. Um, I, I'm hoping for a win, but if they can't get past the Red Wings defense, I don't think they will get past anybody. And it's going to be a it's gonna be a test, I think. <laughs> I didn't think it would be a test at all, but they're making me worry here. Um, it should be an easy win, though. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Guys, enjoy. Make sure you like. Guys, really enjoy. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.